Hello, this is Claude Fulanfo from Brisbane and I'm going to take you to the next step now. This is the third video of today and this is the video that's going to uh, sort of seal up today's um, um, work that I've done over the last three days so that tomorrow we can move forward and look at how we can double your income in 12 months. So stay with me for a few more minutes because this is a very important video. Let's recap. Video number one on this page showed us that we needed to study because college education, the higher the education, the, the higher the degree, the more the income and less unemployment at that level. And we all agree on that. Now we also, we also know in the video number two on this page that having a good education, that is a hundred, a good, good salary after a good education, that's a hundred thousand dollars per year, actually did not leave us much after tax and household expenses. And so this became a worry. How do we move forward? Whether we went back to get a second or third degree, or we got a night job or an early morning job, or we went overseas in, to a tax haven area so that we could get more income. All these have their ups and downs, because if you move away from your family, your family suffers. And also if you work more hours in a second job, you really run out of time for your family as well as for yourself. So the, so this video now, really wants us to seal this, uh, this feeling that having a second job or going back to study may not be the answer. What I have here in front of us is today's reality for college students. These, uh, these figures on this page are based on a survey done on Harvard University students and they found that only 1% of the students that passed out at the time of retirement were extremely wealthy. 4% of those that passed out were well off. In fact, they earned $100,000 a year per annum. That is around $2,000 per week. This is at the time of retirement. So what about the 95% of people who actually passed out? What, what happened to them? 5% of those passed out were still working at retirement. Now friends, just look around you. Do you see courier drivers in as young as 20, 30 driving courier trucks? Or do you see people in their late 40s, 50s, and even 60s driving the courier trucks, the delivery trucks? Uh, do you see the security guards also at the bank? Are they young security guards or they are into their 50s and 60s? So this is a trend that's happening now. 54% of those that were who had passed out, at retirement were dead broke and were on financial welfare. And 36%, I would call these a lucky, lucky number because they decided to die early because of premature death, because of bad, uh, because of stress probably, bad food habits, etc. Now the people that were, were alive, they were straddled with household debt, credit card debt of 15,000. This not, this did, does not include the student loans that they had accumulated while the kids were going to school and the unemployment rate was also a problem to them. So friends, if these people who had gone to the best colleges in the world, only 1% of them could be wealthy and 4% financially free and 95% of them struggled, what about us? What about you? What about the person next to you? We need to do something totally different to the 95% of people. We need to look at what made these 5% of people, the small group of people, so different. In tomorrow's email, I'm going to send you a totally different information that's going to take you to the next level to start looking at this small group of people, what they do, so that you can then start making plans where your financial future should lie. So look out for that email. It's really exciting, and I'm really happy that you stayed with me so far and I'll be at your service tomorrow. Thank you.